gonna be a really fun time to join us because we like to have a little bit too much fun over the holidays and Halloween is around the corner. So today I am sharing some spooky snacks and treats to celebrate and they're all pretty clean. Now they're not really that spooky, but come on, it was Halloween and I wanted to entice you. Bonjour, everybody. Whoa, Scully, good to see you again. You too, Alicia. I've been so bonely since last Halloween. Let's get to the recipes already. First up are the gross sounding but delicious tasting zombie boogers, AKA matcha popcorn. Heat a deep pot over high heat and add coconut oil. Allow that to heat for about 30 seconds and then add in your popcorn kernels and sugar to the hot oil. Cover and vigorously shake back and forth over the stove to ensure that the heat is being evenly distributed and the kernels aren't burning. Keep going until all of the kernels have popped. Immediately after, add a bit more coconut oil, matcha, and salt to the pot and toss to coat completely. Creepy cool. No artificial coloring necessary for this sweet and savory treat. And if you're a fan of matcha's flavor and all of its health benefits, you're bound to love these boogers. Yum, I'm a freak for popcorn. Next up, pumpkin gummies. How about a thumbs up for those screenshotable recipe cards too? My thumbs are a, a little stiff. In a saucepan over medium low heat, whisk together orange juice, lemon juice, and honey. Once warm, gradually add in gelatin, whisking constantly until dissolved. Pour into silicone molds. I used a pumpkin shape, but you could use anything festive. Transfer to the fridge and allow to set for about an hour before popping them out to enjoy. So adorable and tasty. And I'm in control of the sugar and ingredients, which I love. This recipe is actually from my Halloween ebook, and you can get this ebook or any of my ebooks or packages 10% off this week only using the code Halloween at mindovermunch.com slash ebooks. It may be Halloween, but that doesn't mean popsicles aren't delicious. Instead of candy corn, which provides no fuel, why not make candy corn popsicles using nutritious ingredients? They are so easy to make. Candy corn? I love candy corn! I add a layer of yogurt of your choice, any kind will do, to a popsicle mold. Add your sticks now because once that bottom layer is frozen, there's no going back. Freeze for one to two hours and then add your orange layer. I used carrot juice, which is actually pretty sweet if you've never tried it. Freeze that layer and then add your yellow layer on top. I used a mango juice, but pineapple or any other yellow juice that you prefer could work too. These layers are so pretty. I love that they don't need any added flavors or sugar. If you're enjoying these recipes, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of new videos. We've got so much fun holiday content coming your way. You won't regret it. Trust me, I'm a bona fide professional. We've got a sweet and savory treat next, creepy crisps. Mix either sugar or any granulated sweetener of your choice and cinnamon together in a bowl. Set aside. Use your favorite festive cookie cutters to cut shapes out of tortillas. Transfer to a parchment lined baking sheet and spray them down with cooking spray. I used a coconut oil spray. Then sprinkle on that cinnamon sugar mixture to cover completely. Bake until crisp. These are so tasty. It's honestly hard to stop eating them. And it's nice to have a savory and sweet treat instead of something that's overly sugary like we often come across this time of year. Our final snack of the day, rotten deviled eggs. Yeah, rotten eggs. Those look bad to the bone, baby. Oh, Scully, you're such a- A bonehead? You got that right. your boiled eggs. Cut them in half and remove the yolks. Add the yolks in a ripe avocado to a bowl and mash until integrated. Stir in chopped cilantro, lime juice and zest, and salt and pep, seasoning to taste. 
I like to make these extra festive with an olive spider. I simply use half of an olive as a base of the body and halved rings as the legs. Now we can fill our egg halves. I used a piping bag and decorating tip, but just a spoon would be fine. And then we add on your creepy crawler. Green, ghoulish, and most importantly, yummy. So fun! I hope you enjoyed all these Halloween themed snacks. Let me know which was your favorite in the comments below. I have a special Halloween episode coming next week, so stay tuned. If you want to check out my Halloween or other seasonal ebooks, head to mindovermunch.com slash ebooks and don't forget to use the code Halloween for 10% off. I'll see you next week! Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, what's a skeleton's favorite instrument? Um, a trombone? No! A saxophone! <laughs> <laughs> Have a safe holiday, and remember, especially at Halloween, it's all a matter of mind over munch.